Our top story, four Elk Grove teenagers behind bars tonight after they were caught on camera attacking a younger boy on his way home from school. Here in Elk Grove, it's something that we don't expect. Tonight, the victim in the attack is speaking out. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Tony Lopez. And I'm Christina Janes. CBS 13's Jennifer McGraw is live at the police department with a video that helped investigators quickly make an arrest here. Jen? Tony and Christina, that victim is still shaken to the core by Friday's attack. His family only moved to that neighborhood two months ago, a place they thought they'd be safe. They all came up to me and started attacking me. The vicious assault against this 12 year old boy was caught on a neighbor's home security camera. The victim, who does not want to be identified, was riding his bike home from Toby Johnson Middle School when a car pulled up. The driver came up in front of me and, he, and then he pushed me, pushed me off the bike. And then three guys from behind me came up to me and started attacking me. The video shows the older teens knocking him down, tugging at his backpack and stealing his Air Jordan sneakers and cell phone, leaving behind scrapes and bruises. I was so scared, so I didn't, I didn't know what to do. So I just blocked my face with my arms. The video then turned over to police. The car pulls up, four suspects get out and viciously attack. Uh, this 12 year old kid just walking home. Neighbors who live on Swan Way say it's common to see kids coming and going to school. You see the children and kids on bikes all the time, skateboards, um, and there's never been an incident like this that I've heard of. Parents like Mario Aguirre are shocked something like this could happen so close to home. It's not fair, you know, the child could have got hurt and maybe even worse for a pair of shoes. Police say the surveillance video was key in tracking down the suspects who are high school students, 16 and 17 years old. Technology uh, with social media combined can be a powerful tool for not only the community, but for us as law enforcement. These high school suspects now getting a tough lesson in the criminal justice system. And all four of those suspects were charged with robbery and conspiracy and police hope this is a word of warning to young criminals who think they'll get away with it. Jen McGraw, live in El Grove for us tonight. Jen, thank you.